Hi, this is Matt from HackMix Reality. In our last vacation simulator video, we showed you how to do a fixed camera setup. However, we can do better than that. And this time, I'm keeping my shirt on. Today, we're looking at the 2019 title Vacation Simulator again, but this time on how to do a track setup with it. This setup at present requires two physical trackers. So if you don't have two physical trackers that you can attach to your system, then please check our other video, I think it's up there somewhere, where you can see how to do a fixed camera setup that doesn't actually require any trackers at all. I believe a tracked camera is the gold standard setup. I'll be recording a video on why I believe this in the future, but for now, let's have a look at what we need in order to get working on this. In order to make this all work, you'll need Live, you'll need OpenVR input emulator and a text editor of your choice. When we set this up with our fixed camera setup, you'll see that unless you provide any offsets in the external camera.cfg file, that your camera starts off with a view pointing directly forwards at 00, zero in your play space. So what do we need to do in order to get this to track? Well, seemingly there is no way to make it track at all. However, Looking at the bindings in the Steam VR binding section shows something interesting. When attaching a physical tracker to the system, you'll be able to see that there is a mixed reality section in the bindings. There was a considerable amount of research that went into this. There were several dead ends. Uh, there were issues with the Steam VR binding screen, um, which led to the default bindings that were shipped with the game. So I dug into other games to see how they were passing the correct values to the tracker in order to make this work. With a bit of messing around, I managed to compose the file that I've now attached down in the comments below. And this is a JSON file, which is hosted on GitHub. So hopefully you can see that uh, that's all transparent there. This file will need to overwrite the one that's currently there in your game folder. What I'd suggest you do is take backup of that existing file first before making any changes. And once that file is installed, setting your tracker to have the role of camera will now make this track. Just as a note here, this won't actually work with the live tracker yet. As you might have inferred from the contents of that binding file, this simply takes the raw pose of the tracker to pass directly to the game engine to render the virtual camera or to change the position of the virtual camera. This doesn't allow for any calibration so far. It doesn't allow us to specify any offsets uh, in terms of position or rotation. And also, as we've mentioned, we can't use the live tracker either. It just simply will not pick it up. Therefore, we need to make a chain from our input tracker, which is attached to our camera via the live tracker to give us our offsets to a second physical tracker, which will give us then the ability to pass that information into the game engine. Now at the moment, we can of course get the data from our tracked camera into Live. That's already pretty straightforward. However, we don't have the bit where we can get the data from Live into our second controller. This is where OpenVR Input Emulator comes in. You can do this next step in either the desktop view or in VR, I prefer the desktop view. Choose the live tracker, choose redirect to, choose the tracker that you are using a second tracker, and then press apply. You will see at this point that in the Steam VR monitor window, the live tracker disappears from Steam VR, which means that it's redirected. Now you can perform your calibration through live, and your tracker will track and move with your camera accordingly. The final step is to assign the tracker in Steam VR. Right click on any tracker, choose Manage Trackers, choose Manage Trackers again, then assign the role of camera to whichever tracker you redirected your live virtual tracker to. So overall, it's actually a pretty simple process. The binding is a one-time operation. You don't need to do that every single time, luckily. The advantages we have here is that it can be directly launched through Live, and therefore it will generate that external camera.cfg file for you. And also, during play, you can actually recalibrate at any time. 
I guess the major con here is that if you don't have two physical trackers, then it won't be possible to redirect the input through that chain in order to make this work. I haven't been able to find any software that, as yet, creates a virtual tracker that will fool Vacation Simulator into thinking that it's a real tracker that you could use for this purpose. However, if anybody else out there finds one, please leave me a comment down below to see if uh, we can help everybody else out with that, because using two trackers is obviously worse than only using one for this. So finally, your checklist for each time this is now run is turn on both trackers, redirect your live tracker to your secondary tracker, and make sure your secondary tracker is set as the camera roll in the tracker management section of Steam VR. So that's it, I hope that's been useful. Give us a like if that's been useful for you and hopefully that will be more visible for everyone else. If you like this kind of thing, give us a subscribe as well and any optimizations to the process at all, leave it down in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone.